Hello guys and welcome back to Combat and it's time for the next part in this tutorial series and today we are going to create that you can start a level and end a level um, or a game or whatever you want to call it um, we are going to start with that you can start a level and end this tutorial part with that you can end the level but before we're going to start I have two things to say the very first one um, is that if you haven't watched the third person camera and the snake movement tutorial you should watch it right now because it is part of this snake 3d tutorial series also i'm very sick um i couldn't handle a medicine or whatever or my stomach couldn't so i'm sorry if this is as some weird editing inside it or if my voice sounds a little bit weird but that's how it is so we're going to start with the public void start level and we're just going to copy this and paste it here and put here start level because we aren't going to only start a level um, when this script is just starting we're also going to start this level when you are dead and you say retry Um, first we're going to do like the last part of this uh, function um, because first before actually this is going to happen we're first going to delete all the uh, parts that it has currently and it's going to reset the score and things like that but we're first going to end this and that's by setting the snake parts or the body parts and from that first one and from that the position so the head we're going to set the lo location of it to a new factor 3 of 2, not 5, 0. The reason why we're going to do this is that uh, we're going to say here that the actual position is going to be almost exactly the same, except that this is 0. So it's already moving a little bit, because at the moment you spawn it right in, it will set a head there and will just add all the body parts at the same place. That's ugly, we want it to uh, look like a snake, so we're already moving it a little bit before it's actually everything is happening. Um, and here is the we're going to start with creating a new variable. A public float time from last retry. The reason why we're going to create this is that the very first second you are hitting the your own body parts because you are spawning everything in on the same place. You don't want it that it directly counts that as a lo uh, as a loss, and you don't want players to feel like they are being cheated. So what you're going to do is just say that the very first second or a half second or whatever, you just say that you cannot hit the. Uh, other parts of the body but that way the player cannot accidentally hit it because it has a slow PC and the spawning doesn't go all right and and so on so um, let's see how did it call it uh, time from last retry why isn't it here ah there it is is time the time Also, we are going to create, we are going to use um, the UE for saying what your current score is and your dead screen and so on. So we're going to say that there is a public game object. We're just going to create here the parts for all the UE. A public game object, um, dead screen. And we're just going to say that we're just going to disable it so set active is false then we're going to destroy all the current body parts because you don't want to start over again the level with your current score you want to reset it so how we're going to do it is just by um, deleting every part except uh, for the head because the head is very special because that has a different script on it than the, all the other body parts but you cannot start um, you can do a for each loop, but that's very slow. A for loop is a little bit faster. And we cannot start with um, 
i is zero and just cutting up because when you destroy or remove the very first one of a list then if you say if you count by i one it will um, directly remove um, or it will try to remove the second part because i is then one and number one of the list is the second on the list but because the first one is removed you don't remove everything you skip every time one and in the end you still have half the list and we will get errors so what we're going to do we start at the end and we're going to um, count back to zero so that you first remove the last one and so on and int e is snake uh, body parts dot count so we're going to start there minus one because the very first uh, one is element zero and it means that you need to uh, and you start at zero but it's counting start at one if you got one in the list so it means you need, need to do minus one then you're going to say that uh, it needs to be more than one and also we're going to do this so every time it's going to be minus one you can also set here that it needs to be more than the begin size that will also work and you can just remove this nothing to worry about but the thing that they don't like about this is that the body parts are just can be at the other end of the world so it will look very weird it will get some weird issues um, if you've got a 3d world where you can actually go uh, sur surrounded by also kinds of objects and corners and things like that it will just get stuck on the walls from the corners and things like that so that's why we're going to and uh, only keep the head and reset the head so that's how that works then we're going to destroy the snake uh, body parts and from that i dot game object and we're going to remove it from the list then we're going to uh, do the position and the rotation um, so the position we already did and I already explained why we're going to do it like that and the rotation is going to be just going to reset it and you can just put here like if it's a little bit different for each level and you can just change this variable um, also we have two different texts we have um, a public text whoops text current score and that's the score you got inside the uh, on your left or right corner when you are playing and a public text uh, score text and that's the text that is inside your dead screen um, which is of course another object so here we are going to say that the current score is active again because um, we don't want it that you can see it in your corner still when your score is already in the middle of the screen that will look weird so we're just going to set it now on again because we disabled it when you was dead um, your text is going to be current score current score or let me just put it score is going to be zero and we also got bool public bool is alive and we're going to put that is alive to true and if you are alive you can move otherwise of course you cannot I think that's very logic and it's also if you don't do this it will look very weird that you are inside the dead screen and it's still moving around and things like that um, also here we are going to create 
as to count your score. We're not going to do it with a variable because that's very easy to hack by hackers. But we're going to do it from the list. So if a hacker is able to hack this, it will add more objects. So it will also be harder for the hacker to actually play it. So it will still be unfair, but it will be a little bit less unfair than if you can just change the variable very easily. Recurrent score dot text going to be score and we're going to do it plus so it is of course your body parts that count but you already start with some oops see but you already start with something the begin size and of course you don't want to count that within your uh, score and we're going to say that's this two string now we're going to create the last function of today, and that's the public void die. And this is going to be when you aren't alive anymore. When your score text, so the one in your dead screen, is going to be your score without the capital was. this is of course still the same and then here you can say that the current score dot um, game object dot set active is false so that you don't see it again in the right or the left corner and also the dead screen need to be set active to true because you want to see the dead screen your high score the retry button and things like that so that's all it is for this tutorial I know it's shorter than normally, but I just cannot help it. It's uh, already very hard to make this long. Um, I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please leave a like or a subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time with the next part of this tutorial series. Bye.